welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to show you a full coverage acne foundation routine and also how to cover up your freckles and imperfections that you don't really want to be showing. It's very simple, it's very easy and I'm just going to be using drugstore products for this video. So that means that it is going to be a lot cheaper for you rather than having to use a more upscale expensive makeup, drugstore makeup is the way to go. To start off with I'm going to be using my Nivea Pure and Natural Moisturising Day Cream, blending that into my skin. For a full coverage look that you want to last the entire day, I do recommend using a primer that's going to last the long yards, as I like to say. So I'm just going to be using my Sleek Control Shine and Prime Primer. This is a primer that I actually got when I was overseas, so if you can't find it anywhere immediately in Australia, that would be why. However, you can find this brand online. Hmm, how rude. So whenever I like to use a primer, I like to find one that fills in the pores and if it says on there that it is pore minimizing, that is even better for me because I just tend to have larger pores. I actually have quite a lot of freckles and discoloration around this area as well and around my nose. I know that I don't really have a lot of acne, but depending on what time of the month it is, I like to find something that covers all of these little pimples that I get around here. Don't know if you can see, but I do get quite bumpy around here and I do get some redness um, on this side of my face. The foundation that I'm going to be using today is the Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation. This is a very good full coverage drugstore foundation. It smooths onto your skin really well and as I said it is full coverage. And just using a fluffy brush to buff that into your skin I am using the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. I find that it's nice and soft and it leaves a very smooth finish. Already you can see how much that foundation and only with a little amount has counteracted a lot of the redness in my skin and also the freckles on my face, but we're not done yet. Here comes the sun, do -do -do -do, ruining my videoing time. It's not alright, I'll wait. Ah, this is gonna be fun, I keep moving around everywhere because the sun keeps moving. After doing your base with your foundation that you're happy with, I would recommend then going in with a concealer. I am going to be using the Rimmel London Wake Me Up Concealer in Ivory. This, I find, is a very cheap and good alternative to some of the more expensive brands. Next I would recommend a banana powder or something that's brighter than your normal foundation or something that's brighter than your normal powder that you put on your face. Just something that's maybe two shades lighter to put under your eyes to brighten up that area. What I'm going to be using is my AC on Tour Australis Contouring Kit and I'm just going to be using this yellowy shade here. Uh, uh, you can't see it because the sun's really driving me nuts. This shade here, which is like a yellowy sort of uh, shade and it counteracts any of the darkness under your eyes. Banana powder, no banana powder. Just to set my foundation, I'm going to be using the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation. Now that you've covered all of the redness, the freckles and imperfections that you do not want to show, you can continue on to complete your face. And there you go, as you can see I have covered up all of my imperfections including my freckles that I don't really like all that much and also my dark circles and my little breakouts that I was getting around my chin area. All I've done since you saw me last was I did my eyebrows, my contouring, my blush and my lipstick. Oh, and also my mascara. I do tend to break out around my chin area and up into my cheeks sometimes, so this is something that I like to use on those occasions. It still looks quite natural in my opinion, the way that the foundation is sitting on my skin, so yeah, I, I really do like it and I hope that you guys liked it too. If you did like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe as well, that really helps me out a lot. You can also follow me on Instagram, my name on Instagram is the same way that's spelled here, Rianne Autumn, and I shall see you guys next time. Bye!